Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Devotion. Today we have just a really a little snippet, a quick one today, very short and concise today. Uh, we're only looking at three verses, 34, 35, and 36, the last three verses of chapter 14 in Matthew's Gospel. So we're going to wrap it up quickly. This devotion, though, is for Tuesday, May 24th of 2022. And we just got done with Jesus walking on the water. And I kind of talked about that. That was Monday. Today, this is for Tuesday of this week. Um, we'll end the week up still talking about faith, but we're talking about faith again here today. Um, and we talked about a little bit yesterday about how we take our eye off of Jesus and we see the troubles of the world. Well, contrast that, which was from yesterday's devotion, to what we have here today. Let's look at chapter 14 in Matthew's Gospel, verses 34 to 36. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. After the people of that place recognized him, they sent word to that whole surrounding region, and people brought all who were sick to him, and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Okay, this is a little bit reminiscent of the woman that was hemorrhaging, remember, and she just touched the fringe of his cloak, same same fringe, same cloak, um, and, the, and she was healed and because of her faith. Same thing here. There's, these people recognize who Jesus is. They see who he is, and they know him to be the healer. Um, and perhaps some of them were at the feeding of the 5,000. Don't know. Um, they just got done with the walking on water and them saying, at the end saying, true, you are the Son of God. The people in the boat, the disciples and all, uh, recognize who Jesus truly is. So here they, tr they recognize him truly as this important person, this person that is healing all these people, doesn't say whether they recognize these people recognize him as yet being the Son of God uh, or not. Soon they will. We're building that crescendo up. We're building up more and more and getting closer and closer. In the next couple of days, there'll be conflict that we deal with. Then we'll get back to healing and to faith. But this is about faith. They have so much faith that all they have to do is just get near Jesus. Just to touch, the tiniest touch of him is enough to heal them from all that is is ailing them. Can't say ailing. What in the world is wrong with me? Um, so the idea is that the closeness, the closeness of Jesus, they, not, they have their eye on Jesus. Unlike Peter, where he took his eye off because of the trouble of the world. Here, in spite of all the the, the problems they have, all their infirmities, their illnesses, the difficulties to get there. They know that if they can get to him, they will be healed. And it's the same thing for us. We can just get to him. We can just endure all the craziness of this world. If we can just have that kind of faith. We will endure. We will have the prize. Uh, that is the message of the gospel in a nutshell, really, to be honest. Um, Jesus is worth it all. He paid it all. He's worth it all, All price, or any earthly price we can pay. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Like I said, it was short, short and sweet today. Uh, tomorrow we will start a new chapter. That wrapped up chapter 14. Tomorrow we start chapter 15. Praise be to God. So if you enjoy these devotions, like and subscribe below. We'd love to have you here again, and uh, we'll see you around. Please be a blessing to someone today. Bye-bye.